Hey, looks like everything is working. That's good, that's good. Yeah. Send out this tweet. Yeah, we should be live. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Welcome everybody to the first ever Magic Mondays. Here with me, your local cat slime, St. Long Cross. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm so happy to be playing Magic again. I'm so happy to be streaming again. <laughs> so let's uh, get on here and uh, see what we can do. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So today we are going to be playing Hopper. Yep. So Magic Gathering, very awesome card game. I've been playing it for years. And um, Pauper is one of the formats that this does not get enough love. Mm -mm. So I'm very super excited to be playing some Pauper today. Mm -hmm. I am Slime that has played a ton of Limited, which means that I've opened booster packs and drafted that with friends uh, to play. Uh, basically in a limited card pool and I've done that many 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 times I've also played a lot of constructed which means constructing a deck to play against other people I've played standard several times I've played modern I play a lot of commander and I mean a lot <laughs> um, but uh, I have not played much pauper and today I want to fix that. Mm -hmm. This is going to be my uh, training arc <laughs> to try and get good in Pauper. So uh, today's deck list is based around this card, Dread Return. Mm -hmm. So we are going to be uh, filling up our discard pile known as the Graveyard with a whole bunch of cards. So we're using a Mire Triton, Blanchwood Prowler, and Cedar Wayfinder, along with Scrapwork Mutt here, to get things from our deck, aka our library, into our graveyard. Uh, cards like Stinkweed Imp here uh, help really accelerate that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So Stinkweed Imp is a creature where sometimes you really don't want to play it. Like you don't actually want to have this guy on the battlefield. It's much more important to have it uh, in your graveyard because of its last ability there, Dredge 5. And what that means is that I can, uh, if I were going to draw a card for any reason, and this was in my graveyard, I could replace that draw with milling, aka taking five cards off the top of my deck and putting it in the discard and returning the imp to my hand. So that is a really broken mechanic <laughs> in a lot of constructed formats. But um, yeah, in this format, we get cards with flashback and flashback allows you to cast a card from your discard pile, from your graveyard. In this case, Gnaw to the Bone allows me to gain life equal to the number of creature cards in my graveyard. So a lot of life, Dread Return, which is going to be super important in this deck, allows me to get back any of my creatures. So like my Prowlers, this guy, which we'll come back to in a minute, this guy is like the cornerstone of the deck. Dread Return allows me to take it from the graveyard, put it onto the battlefield. That's it. That's really powerful for four mana. But what's even more powerful is the fact that you can flash this back. You can cast this from the graveyard essentially for free you can sacrifice three creatures any three creatures that you have on the battlefield they cast the spell again and get back oh i don't know a big giant or like a big troll or like a big tree of hope we have a lot of good targets acorn harvest is a wonderful card in this deck because it gives us the creatures which we can use to sacrifice to flashback Dread Return uh, to create two green 1-1 one, one scroll 
tokens. And we can basically use this card twice. We can cast it for four mana from our hand, but more often than not, we're going to be casting it with the flashback. The one green pay three life is just absolutely nuts for getting two one one dorks. Mm -hmm. And then what we have here are some big bigs. Now, are we going to be casting these? Mm, most of the time, no. But Trolla Kazadum and Generous End allow us to basic land cycle. So that second ability there, the Swamp Cycling for one generic, allows us to discard this troll or the Ent from our hand and search our library, our deck, for a Swamp card. Reveal it, put it into our hand, and then shuffle. So Swamp's one of our basics. In this case, this Ent can force cycle for, again, just one of anything. Discard this from our hand and find a forest card. Now, it's very important that it says forest card or swamp card. Why? Well, we have our basic forests and we have our basic swamps. We also have these. These cards, Haunted Mire, Geothermal Bog, and Wooded Ridgeline, are what we call dual lands. These enter the battlefield tapped, meaning we can't use them right away but they have two basic land types. Swamp here has the name Swamp, but also the basic land type Swamp. This card has a basic land type Mountain and a basic land type Forest, which means since we're searching for a Forest card or a Swamp card, we can find a Swamp Forest or a Swamp Mountain, or in the case of an end, a forest mountain. Very powerful effect. So this helps color fix. Um, otherwise, everything else is pretty streamlined. We got our little guys here, our wayfinders and such. All this does is help get cards in our graveyard. That is the main plan. We have a dork to flashback dread return with, and we get cards in the graveyard. Mm -hmm. Exhum is sort of the newest addition to this list. And Exhum is a very powerful card. It's a symmetrical effect, which means that the opponent gets to do exactly what we're going to be doing. But we can break symmetry really easily in this deck, as you could imagine. So Exhum says that each player would put a creature card from their graveyard onto the battlefield for two mana. Two mana. That's crazy. And they're like, oh, well, we're going to offset what's normally a four mana cost effect. Nowadays, it's even five mana. With the fact that, oh, well, both people get back a creature. Yeah, turn one, cycle a troll to get a land. Turn two, play the land, exhum. We're winning that race. It's really sweet. <laughs> so that's the main deck. That's how that works. That's the engine of this deck, is getting all this stuff up for Lotleth Giant. And Lotleth Giant is the big win con for this deck. It has the ability Undergrowth, which essentially means for the giant that cares about how many creatures are in the graveyard. In Air's Battlefield, it deals one damage to target opponent, i.e. the only opponent we have, and it's one damage for each creature card in our graveyard. We've got 31 creatures in this deck, so that is going to add up real fast. And the fact that we can also just get in there very early with our low drops here, our Tritons, our Prowlers, our Wayfinders, our Mutts. We can lower that from the starting life total 20 down to like 15, 14, 12. And it's really not that hard to get the rest in the graveyard. And then what are they going to do? Kill our little dudes? And then we just get the giant anyway, and it's like, oh, thanks for putting that in our graveyard. That's an extra one damage when this thing comes in. Mm -hmm. I like this deck. I like it a lot. Now, if I remember correctly, I th think the guy who created this deck, or at least this is where I found it a lot, was uh, Kerblinks? Kerblinks? 
I think is how you say it, on YouTube. So I want to give credit where credit's due. This deck was not my creation, but I loved it so much that I wanted to pilot it and give it a shot. This is a really interesting deck. And what makes it even more fun, what makes it so much more fun, is that this is all commons. In trading card games, as you may or may not know, there are different rarities for cards. How often you'll find them in booster packs. Common is, well, the most common rarity. You're going to get this in a lot of booster packs. Maybe not every one, but a good lot of them. They're very easy to acquire. All these cards count as commons in at least one of their printings. They could go up to a higher rarity, like the Lotless Giant here is an uncommon at some point. The Meyer Triton is an uncommon at some point. But all of these cards were common at some point, which means that they are legal and pauper, a commons only format, which makes this super affordable compared to a lot of other constructed formats. And that's awesome. I like being able to play with more people, Slimu or otherwise. <laughs> and being able to afford a deck to play either online or in person with paper cardboard cards uh, is just like the end goal for me. I want to be able to play more magic. Magic is fun. Mm -hmm. So this deck in paper, mm, I'll say like 50 bucks at most. So like 40 to 50 USD for this deck in paper. Now, maybe not these exact cards, like these are kind of fancy looking forests, but like basic lands are like less than a penny. Like people just give you those for free. Some of these cards might be a little bit more expensive, like the Exhumes, probably a couple of bucks each. Uh, something like Flaring Pain, because it's been, this is the only printing it's had. And it's very, very old. So like, I don't know. 2000, 1999, somewhere around there. So it's probably like five or six bucks a piece. But then everything else here is like under a quarter, under a dime. That's a good, that's a good rate. That's very affordable. Hmm. So even if you have to put away for eh, a couple of weeks, month, you can acquire this deck in paper or online really easily. And the same goes for a lot of other pauper decks. We have plenty over here in the side that I am accumulating. And I'm doing that just a little bit each week, a little bit each paycheck. Mm -hmm. Because if you want to play standard, it's like $300, $400 for a deck. One deck. That could change in a month's time. If you go into like modern or legacy, they can get upwards of like $1,000 a deck. And that's not like extreme either. Like a lot of modern decks can go up towards of like $700, just middle of the road. Heck, some of them can go up to like $1,400. And we're not talking like super fancy foils or like shiny stuff. Mm -mm. So like, this is very, very affordable. A very easy entry into a competitive format where there's a lot of decision making, a lot of fun to be had. And you can just play. You don't have to get very specific cards either. You can play with commons that are, you know, very available for you. But being able to have commons that go all the way back to the beginning of magic makes for some really interesting decks, really interesting combinations of cards and synergies. So I'm going to be playing this deck. This is a green black dredge deck. And we're going to be taking it into a league today and seeing if we can win. I have a lot more experience with other formats. This is my first time really going into Pauper. I took some notes from uh, Curb Blinks. Curb Blinks, I'm sorry, I forgot your name. But um, so I know how to sideboard a bit. And we'll talk that through when we get there. All right, so give me one second. And I'll switch over to our match. <sighs> Stay hydrated, folks. Mm -hmm. Boop. Alrighty. 
So we're going to be playing a league. This means five matches. We get five rounds, uh, three games per round, up to is the best three. And uh, we'll see how well we uh, play today. Can we do it? I don't know. Good, good, good. Okay, it looks like we are on the draw. Hmm. Hmm. Is this worth it? I mean, we got two Seder Wayfinders and a Mutt. I think I'll keep this. Let's go. This is probably going to be our first drop here. Probably into the Seder Wayfinder set on turn two. So this into this into Seder. Ooh, Mortuary Mire. That's really interesting. All right, so that tells me that they have a little bit of recursion. Hmm. <laughs> Lorian revealed. Okay, so they're at least blue black. Ooh, they're Esper. I wonder what this could be. I am curious. All right, let's play our Seder Wayfinder. Ooh, we find a land. That's good. I uh, have no other play that we can make this turn. Ooh, we got a giant, a prowler, and a dread return in the graveyard. That's really good. Oh, this is... All right, I know exactly what this is. This is Esper um, Familiars. So there's a card called uh, Sunscape Familiar which reduces the cost of your blue or black spells by one. That's pretty good. I have an O4, so I can't even attack into this profitably. Dang. All right. What do I want to do? I probably... Just want to get the Stinkweed Imp we just uh, drew into the graveyard. Now here's the fun tech with Scrapbook Mod. So we discard a card first. We discard the Imp. Since the Imp is now in the graveyard, we need to draw a card. We can just dredge five. Pretty, pretty, pretty cool. Mm -hmm. All right. Now, there's not much more we can do right now. We've got our graveyard over here. All right, so it doesn't look like they need the black card right now. Uh, that's kind of cool. I'm getting a little bit of chip damage. Get some Seder Wayfinder action going on. Okay. That's really funny. That's like super funny. All right, we're gonna just go. What did they reveal? So they revealed a counter spell. They have a counter spell in hand. So they've got a Seagate Oracle coming down that allows them to get some card draw off the top of their deck. Draw a step, dredge more. Very nice, very nice.
tool. See, do you want to counterspell this? No, no, you don't. <laughs> I know you've got the counterspell ready and waiting. That's fine. Hmm, what can we do here? All right, they've played in Ash Barons instead of cycling it to get anything. That's funny. What do I want to do? Well, let's just go in. Our acorn harvest. They don't want to do anything about that. That's funny. There we go. Acorn harvest again. Cool. Ah, I'm good, bro. I don't think they play like an Echoing Truth main. Echoing Truth would be a card that gets rid of all my squirrel tokens. It would bounce target creature and all creatures with the same name as it back to my hand. Squirrels all have the same name in this case. Uh, no, you're good, Burrow. You're, you're good. <laughs> Go for it, my man. in there. Spell this one. That's fine. should do it but a bing all right we win our first game game two though not looking too good let me take a quickie look on mtd goldfish popper do familiars decks play graveyard hate Not really, just kind of more counter spells and stoof. 
Alright. Hmm, do I have any notes on familiars? I really don't. Okay. Um, hmm. I think I'm just going to run it back. If I see what kind of uh, sideboard stuff they've brought in against me, you know, then we'll uh, then we'll get there. Is this a keep? I think this is a keep. We've got action in the first two turns. Oof. Drawing the giant, not exactly what I want to do. Brainstorm, okay. Interesting. So they're going to look at the top three, put two back. Then are they going to have shuffle effect? Otherwise, they've what we call brainstorm locked themselves. Mm hmm. Yep, there's the shuffle. All right, so they got a planes. That's Coolio. What do I want to do? Yeah, let's just do the Wayfinder. Digs for more cards. All right. We got our third land. That's looking really good. We got a scrap work mutt, which we can't actually unearth just yet because we don't have a red. But uh, we'll get there. All right, there's the Seagate Oracle. Another scrap work mutt. Ooh. Uh, hmm. Interesting. What I want to do. You know what? I'm going to mutt. Because this allows me to get our stinky dimp in there and start dredging. Ooh, that's starting to look juicy. Okay. Nope, we don't need to uh, do that. Keep our graveyard popped out here. Another Oracle. That's brave. Most of the counter spells, if not all of them, yep, are two mana. So we could dread return this turn if we draw a land and they can't do anything about it. We don't though. Womp womp. <sighs> all right. What do we do? Let's say to Wayfinder. We get a land. Play a land. What's another good one for us to do here? Probably Prowler. Let's Prowler. Use up our mana. Uh, we didn't hit, so we get a 2-2. That's nice. Uh, don't have anything I really want to attack with this turn. That's fine. Sure. Gain some life. It's not going to be enough. You're doing a lot of tapping out. You are a very brave person. Hmm. I'll just start getting this going and uh, see what they can do about a 6-5. Oops, I just noticed your chat there, Beastmaster. Hmm. Yeah. Thank you for the chat. Maybe later. But right now I'm working on the magic. Feel free to stick around and watch the magic. Okay, so they're definitely starting to get a lot more card draw and whatever. So there's that Sunscape familiar I was talking about, this guy. 
can't do anything on its own, really. It's an O3 wall. Walls cannot attack. But the fact that, oh, it's green and blue. I thought it was black and blue. It's green and blue spells cost one less. That's huge. All right, let's see. What can I do here? Let's just get everybody in the pool. See what we want to do. How do you want to do it? Everybody up against the troll. Cool. Oh. Ooh. Convoke. Draw two cards. Interesting. Uh, sure. Go for it. And another one. Man, they are drowning in card advantage. Oh, no. Right, they changed the way this works. Okay, so I should have moved uh, Mole Drifter to the front, but that's fine. This is not the worst thing to have happened. Should I have probably Dread returned it back with the Squirrel Tokens and whatever? Yeah. That was a punt. Magic slang for... I made it oopsie. But, in any event... Uh, let's see here. What are you gonna do? Are you doing anything? You've got eight cards in hand. Mnemonic wall, okay. Uh, getting back meeting of the minds, I'm assuming. Just to draw more cards. Yep. That would be okay by me. You drawing more cards means that I can't do anything. Let's get our red source. Go ahead and discard your cards. So you've got, I would say, two counter spells going here. One, two, three. So we got three knot of the bone going. Hmm. Beep, 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 beep. Yeah, attacking in doesn't really do anything. Let's get back to the troll. Have you counterspell it? You didn't counterspell it. You absolute mad lad. Stinkweed imp? Oh, okay. Hmm. Counterspell this. You didn't counterspell that either. That's just like a free lightning bolt to you if you counterspell that. Okay. I don't know what you're doing, opponent, because you're certainly not winning the game just yet. Just draw even more cards. Okay. Okay, so the two punts that I made was that I didn't flash this guy into the battlefield last turn. And 
you're just drawing all your cards. You've got almost as many cards through your deck as I have. I am just bewildered right now. What is, how are you gonna win? What is your game plan? Turn the planes or island or something? <laughs> okay. Snap. Okay. Cool. Okay. Alright, merchant scroll. Now are you getting a counter spell? Or are you getting another ghostly flicker? Oh, you got a brainstorm. That is fan fascinating. So if I draw an untapped land, I can just hard cast a lot less giant. That'd be cool. Hmm. Sure, buddy. I really don't care. You can have 20 billion cards in hand. I really don't care. There's, you're not making any progress on the board state here. Okay. There's the ephemerate. Okay. Okay, you're getting in with that. Interesting. Interesting. Your turn, opponent. have one dread two dread returns left I 
what is uh... So there are two exhumes left in my deck. matchup that I need to bring in those um, graveyard heat spells against. I see. Okay. I think I've seen enough. Let's go to game three. All right, you come in. I don't think Dread Return is doing literally anything. Or not Dread Return, Nod to the Bottom is literally doing anything this match. So you guys come out. Maybe one Harvest. Let's do that. Okay. Yep, I would like to be on the play. Let's see. Is this is this a like a start? This does literally nothing though. Like this gets me a lot of lands, but like not a lot of anything else. This feels like a keep. Yeah, let's do that. So I don't have a black source just yet. That's a problem. But I think I can get one. I have the Seder Wayfinder. Oof. Oh my goodness gracious me. Hmm. That's a bit of a bummer. Two imps is nice, but not really helping me out here. I'm not going to dredge that. Oof. Let's just get in for one. There we go. All right. Let's see how we do. this time. Okay. 
you let that happen. Uh, do I want the six right now or just the five seven? I don't think you can deal with the five seven. Do you have the counter spell? You do not. All right, we got two big bigs. How many stamps do you have? Got one for the end. I'm glad I did both. Let's go, Imp. Ooh, and we get a dread return. Mm -hmm. Get in there. Get you. That's fine. I don't think there's anything else I want to do. I want to hold this guy up. Because that's our... That's our, um... Stop recurring stuff card right now. So that's super important. Hmm. Okay. You can ephemerate the Oracle. Can't do anything about that. Interestante. Mm -hmm. Let's keep applying pressure. Nice. Okay. So they've got the rebounded ephemerate coming in. Going on their oracle. Makes sense. So now is where we need to turn a corner. All right. They're gaining a lot of life. Ooh, murmuring mystic.
Okay. The bird's going in front of giant, I'm assuming. Okay. All right, so we've got six. down in here. Hmm? Anything worth dread returning this turn? Probably not. Got two harvests gone. Sure. I'm going to be patient, keep up my graveyard removal, another familiar, not great, but we can keep working with this. Is a very good, uh, very good thing. much time left on my clock but we're gonna try and figure this out I need to do better of actually talking through what I'm thinking my slamo head you're fine ash barons are good okay okay I'm answer doesn't like change what my plan is right now. Rotten Reunion fizzles, it does not do anything.
Okay, so they have zero cards in hand. They're getting back Ghostly Flicker and Snap. I'm very curious if I can just kill them with repeatedly playing my Lotless Giant. I'd have to play it mm, if I dredge and I get exactly like 10 creatures in the yard, right? I'd have to play it five times. Is this just infinite? Yeah, I think this is just infinite. Oh well. That sucks. Well, first match is a loss. Oh well. I think with the exception of like three mistakes, played pretty well. Maybe a few more than that, but who's counting? <laughs> uh, let's see here. I guess we will try for the next league match. Let's see uh, if round two gets us any better. Mm -hmm. Again, nothing we could really do on that. This is better. Not great, but better. I think I just get rid of the knot of the bone. Beep. Okay. Blue black, maybe we're going up against terror or fairies. Let's see. Hmm. The Wayne Storm. Yeah, you can do that. <laughs> okay, brainstorm resolves. Is land the preordain? Okay. This feels like a Tolarian Terror deck. Hmm. Hmm. All right. Let's play Prowler. Uh, yeah, we'll take that bog. An imp and an audit bone. Nice. So this coming turn, I can play the bog. We get our black mana eventually. Uh, totally not uh, showing counterspell at all, ever. Do you want to counterspell this? Do you? Are you sure about that? Oh my god, they do. Cool. I got another creature in the graveyard. Yay. <laughs> uh, just continuously holding up counter spells. Totally fine. Beep. All right, do you want to counter this 2-1? No. That's pretty cool. Okay. Uh, 
will just pass. Uh, oh no, I should have I should have cycled to gotten the land with troll. That's a mistake. Wall. Well, oh well. Uh, that doesn't matter. I mean, it probably matters an incredible amount, but I uh, can't do anything about it now. Oh well. Okay, so it, so it is fairies. Interesting. We got spell stutter sprite, and they snuffed it. That feels like bad value. Sure. Get in for one. Do it. I know you want to. Mm -hmm. Okay, we got a ninja. That's fine. I don't care. I care immensely. Let's do this. Always yield. Stinky. Get stinky back. Okay. 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 Uh, let's uh, get in there. So far, you've not had any shuffle effects, I don't think. Do you have it? It probably has it. You don't have it! Nice. Very nice. Okay. So we have fairies. What is, what is fairies playing nowadays? Hmm. Cast down Agony Warp. Yep, yep, yep. Bunch of sweepers. So I feel like this doesn't do anything. that I care about? I mean, I don't... None of this really feels good. <laughs> uh, does my sideboarding guide have any help here? No, it does not. I don't have any sideboarding tips for this one. in because I just want more dudes that don't cost me life. I mean, they have edicts, dispels, and they have a relic. Yeah, maybe pulling in a grudge or two is fine. Let's pull in just two. I don't think I really need anything bigger than that. Oh, this is a this is a sweet key. Look at this. Okay. So we can go turn one swamp. End of their turn. Cycle end. Get a forest. Untap. And presuming that they don't have a one mana counter spell. 
for a two-man counter spell open. I can just exhume the Ent. And if not, we still have a great game plan going on here with Wayfinders and Tritons. I think that's pretty decent. Oops. Oh no. Womp womp. I hit the wrong button. Pass to the end step. That sucks. Let's force cycling. And you know what? Let's get the tapped one. Because we're going to have to wait a turn anyway. Now we have our red and green, which is great. We have our third land, guaranteed, which is great. And we see if they actually do have the counter spell or not. Well, they have a spell star sprite. Okay. It's really nothing in our deck that would. Um, Necessity things anyway. All right, take one. We're good. 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 Oh, this is exactly what I want to see. So the play could have been play a satyr, hope to God that I hit a land that's untapped, and then exhume. But I feel like this is just the safer play. Get a big, big in here and see if they can deal with it. Are they going to have snuff out? Do they keep in snuff, snuff out against the black green deck? I don't know. Genuinely don't know. Beep. Zoom target. Let's assume that they try to kill the thing. All right, they got lifelink on that dude. All right, three three lifelink. Very interesting. I really don't care. Go ahead, draw a card. Game three, that's fine. You're mitigating, you know, an amount. I don't care otherwise. Fairy Seer, okay. Alright, so you can counter a two drop. In combat, what would you like to do? <laughs> oh, hello. Hey, Angelita VTuber. 
Hey, I'm doing good. Good to see you. Sorry if I missed you there for a moment. Bum, 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 bum. One second here. I want to get through combat. Okay, so they do have the snuff out. Interesting. Uh, yeah, I guess there's nothing really I can do with that. Do you want to block? No, nope, you want to take it. That's fine. do that. Yeah, sorry about that, Angelita. I was definitely preoccupied as my bad. But uh, thanks for coming in and uh, watching for a bit. That's fine. You can spell stutter that Mire Triton. Uh, are you going to have another counter spell is the thing. Do I care? There we go. Bing, bang, boom. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, we'll get a swamp. Perfect. All right, so hopefully them seeing the two exhumes means that they think maybe I don't have another one and we can kind of fake them out a bit. That'd be sweet. I don't think it's going to work, but we shall see. All right, they took out my blocker. They have a relic, okay. And they're just popping the relic now. Okay. Fearless. Let's see what Cedar Wayfinder gets us. Nothing. Keep up counter spell forever and always. I don't care about that. You will either have it or you won't have it. Sure. Probably a good idea. Let's start with you. Are you thinking or are you just busy? Don't tell me you want to counter this. Okay, I was about to say. Uh, stretch the stinky. <sighs> Could 
Okay, good. Remember, stay hydrated, folks. Mm -hmm. Um, let's see if you want to fight over this. spell out of your hand. Anything else? Nope. I think this is fine for now. I'm not sure if they can pump their fairies. Okay, hard casting Lorien reveal. Okay. Sure. Make me chump block with a squirrel token. All right. So I am at three. I cannot. Oh, no, I'm at two now. Okay. That's fine. Scrapwork Mutt. One, two, let's just say. Let's say colors don't matter right now. So one, two. I get Scrapwork Mutt. Pitch that dredge. Hopefully I hit and I'm out of stuff. Then I have one, two, three, four, five left. So then I cast Stinky. Dread return the lot with Giant by sacrificing the three. I might be able to make it. Let's let's see if I can do this here. A bit slower than other players, but I'm just trying to figure out this deck. It's like I'm having fun, and so far I am. This is a blast. <laughs> All right, Let's discard and dredge the imp. Even better. So boom, 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 imp. Do they have another snuff out? That's the one thing, like if they have snuff out, be a fair dues. They do have another snuff out. Okay. That was a mistake, opponent. Because now I've won. That was a match. Yay, we're one and one. Woo! <laughs> All right.
That's awesome. Yeah. So, very happy with that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, my goodness. That's awesome. Very awesome. Yeah. <laughs> take a quickie break just to kind of go to the little slimes room and then come back mm, maybe mm, maybe eh, you know what I'm gonna try one more round here and then then I might take a break we shall see mm -hmm. stressful <laughs> oh. nope I'm definitely going to take a quickie break okay so I'm going to BRB I don't have a BRB screen for this just yet still working on it I mean heck even this picture is only just tacked up so I'm going to BRB and then we'll start round three when I come back thanks everybody I'll be back real soon okay one moment That was funny. <laughs> All righty. And I'm back. Yay. All right. Let's try. Let's try round number three. Really excited to see how this deck performs up against some other opponents that aren't just control. <laughs> All right, let's go. Yum. Okay. person we have a an opponent hmm Her. let's 
that's not ideal. Not ideal. Cards that I want in the graveyard are in my hand. Of course. Mm, that's Mulligan. Oof, that was a mistake. All right, let's keep this. We don't need an acorn harvest. Oh. Let's do that. Not a great five, but um, we'll see how this works. Ooh, Utopia Sprawl. Is this Boggles? This might be Boggles. We might just be dead. Hmm. If this is uh, like Glitter's Boggles or whatever. Oh, wait, no. The ch color chosen is red. Oh, this is Ponza. So in Magic, there's a term called Ponza. And that's for decks that make land destruction. They ramp, uh, they get ahead on mana, and they try to kill your lands and stuff. And they're just going lightning bolt to the face. Uh, okay. I disagree with that statement, but okay. Alrighty. So we're going to be tight on mana this game. This is going to be really tough because they can untap this with the Arbor Elf, get four mana. And they're probably going to... Oh, wait. Hmm? Is it... Is it the Pirate Goblin? Five mana? Nope, they are Monvuli Acid Mossing. So this card destroys a target card and gets them a forest. So yeah, that kind of sucks. Yep. Well, this is going to be a very interesting game. Yeah, their Lightning Bolts don't have much to target. Very interesting. So they're trying to keep me off of black mana. Which so far is doing pretty good. Another acid moss? Nope, there's that... Um, oh, it's a human pirate. 6-4 Cascade Haste. Let's do it! Okay. This is like, this is probably going to be a non-game. It was a slow start hand. I mean, I could do stuff with it, but it was a slow start. It's not like it was very fast. And now we're getting beat in the face with six damage. Hmm. Don't like it. Yeah, let's just concede and go to the sideboard. Wow. Ponza, okay. I have not gone up against Ponza in a hot minute. Stone Rain, Thermokarst, Monvuli Acid Moss. They've got relics. The sweepers, this just might be a bad matchup.
Like, Ray of Revelation doesn't do anything. Like, they're just playing Utopia Sprawls and Wild Growths, and yeah, they're cool. Like, to hit and just, like, tempo them a bit, but, like... Is that really the winning game plan here? Because they're just going to ramp otherwise, too. Like, they have Arbor Elves and, like, Land of War things, so, like... Hmm... Hmm... Mare Triton, ugh. They do play a lot of fatties. I'm gonna just stick with this for now. See if we can get there. <sighs> Let's keep this. This is a kind of like oof hand. So like turn one, I think I just have the Haunted Mire just to get the most out of the tap lands and to turn two Mutt <laughs> because the closest they can do anything is turn three here. gonna yield ah hey there Azure Sniper yeah how's it going what do I want to discard I want to discard imp charge back the imp what did we get dread return three lands and an ent okay that is hmm this is gonna be rough this is gonna be rough This is a land destruction deck, Xur, so like this is going to be very difficult. Ooh, even more difficult now that they found a relic, but the question is, do they pop it now? Or do they slow roll it just to card a turn? Hmm. I know what I would do, but I want to see what the opponent would do. Let's see. Do you have an Arbor Elf you want to play? Do you want to pop the Relic? Do you just want to pass? Hmm. Decisions, decisions. Well, you're the one burning your clock, so I'll let you take your time. Funk real hard about it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So Relic is one of the main graveyard hates against this deck. It has the ability to tap once a turn, uh, you know, once every turn cycle to exile just a card from a graveyard, usually pointed at me, but could be yourself. And then you can pay a single mana and exile a Relic to exile just all graveyards. Boom. All gone. Um, pros and cons to each, but it is a very effective card. So definitely a card that you gotta learn to play around. So let's see what they choose to do in this scenario. Do they want to get rid of my dread return and target? Or do they just want to keep it around or what? There are down cards in hand, so. I could see this going either way. Did they time out? No, they did not time out. So they're just thinking. Nope, they had lost connection to the game. Looks like they're back now. Good. Hi, opponent. I'm still here. I'm still slime. Blech. What do you want to do? 
You want to pop the relic? You want to keep the relic? You want to pass turn? Concede? Scoop? Whatever you want to do. That's fine. I won't judge you. I will judge you immensely. Okay, so they chose to pop it and exile all graveyards. That's fine. It's honestly, probably the best thing for me right now. <laughs> First and foremost, let's get in with an attacker. Let's play our Prowler. Got a Swamp. Do I want to play the Swamp? No. I'm going to play a Tapped Land and see what they want to do. They can uh, Stone Rain me this turn if they really want to. I'll be sad, but I mean, that's kind of their deck. Yep. Makes sense. Okay. Get in for the weenie beats. Yeah. Alrighty. And play another prowler. Get a forest. Good, good. Alright, we got an imp in the grave. That's super good. Uh and One, two, three, four. Nah. I'm just gonna wait. I'm gonna wait and see what happens. Congratulations, you're like 17 turns too late. Stone Rain? Another Mwan Wooly? Okay. The Swamp. some chip damage. Yeah, I, I kind of figured. Let's bring back a troll. Okay, so this does a couple things for us. Having flashback to the Dread Return, we now have Impy in the yard. So now we can dredge it, get some more value in here. Uh, trolls on board, which is a big, hard to block dude. Again, you can stone rain us out of the game or we can just see what happens. All right, drop card out of mana. You got a 6-3. That's cool. Ooh, Scred. Very nice, very nice. Uh, 
All right, what do we have here? So we have a Dread Return. It's good to know. We do have an Imp. Uh, I'm not going to attack because you've got a sufficient blocker. Let's see if you've got another Scred. Got a Bolt. Very fascinating. Okay. All right, so I've got 11 cards. Do I care about that? I don't think I care about that. Okay. Another hasty duder? Or like a Altasaurus Cascade dude? Yep, annoyed Altasaur. Go for it. <laughs> oh, that is punishing. Dang. That's rough. That's super rough. Okay. Well, that sucks. I don't know, man. I don't know if I can uh, if I can swing this. I think I have to play to my outs and just assume they don't have another scred or bolt in hand. They've only played one of each. I know that they run like three or four scred, three or four bolt. So let's see what they do. Pressure me with the big bigs. I wouldn't be surprised if everyone came in. Yeah. Because I think this has trample, right? Yeah, I'm probably just dead. Yep. Womp womp. Oh well. That happens. It do happen like that, though. Darn. They got really lucky on that cascade. Um, should I have probably... Gnaw to the bone instead of playing the imp? Possibly. But Cascade is, you know, completely random, essentially. So we'll see if we'll see if we can go 2-2. Two, two. Let's see if we can go 2-2 two, two and get some points back. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So although I've lost twice with this deck out of three, I'm still having a lot of fun. This is really interesting gameplay. Like you're you're thinking outside the box. You're not necessarily thinking dudes on the board. You're thinking, all right. What can I do to get my game on uh, my game engine online here? Yeah, nice. All right, so we've gone against what familiars, Ponza, Demir fairies. And what could what could the fourth match possibly be? <laughs> Maybe something good for us? I don't know. I don't know. Okay, let's see. What do we have here? We have... The Double Dread Return Hand. Which is a little sketchy. I'll keep though. Let's see what we do. Opponent, Snow-Covered Forest. This is Ponza again. This is just Ponza. Hashtag only Ponza. Uh, this is rough.
Ridgeline or Forest? Let's get the Ridgeline back. <laughs> okay. So you've got a bunch of mana. Three, four, five. Yep, knew it. That kind of sucks. There was a very, very small chance that this was elves instead. going to skip this because I want to force cycle my int, but we shall see. Hmm. Hmm. <sighs> Two ponzas in a row. Not going for me. Not looking good for the home team. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, Altasaur, Thermokarst, another destroy target land, rough. Casting Aldo Font, okay. This is tough. I guess I dread return my Meyer Triton. Cool. All right, so all four dread returns are seen. I've used one, one's in the graveyard, I got two in hand that I'm probably never going to cast. Big oofs. Uh, 
Oh, you did it. I feel like I just gotta go turbo. I don't know what's good. I only played against Ponza once before and I lost horribly. I feel like I gotta keep this. It's not great. But I feel like I gotta keep it. Just like going through my mind, I don't know what I can do in this deck against Panza. Like, just draw lands, get lands, that's cool. But they just play fatties otherwise. Come in for three, sure. You're good. Bunch of lands up front. Stalls him out a little bit, but I'm definitely going to be attacking with this dude later. That's fine. Totally fine. Let's just get another big duder going. Okay, what are you gonna do? Another big dude? Looks like a big dude. Holly font, that's fine.
I mean, you can block if you want. Get that guy in there, that's fine. Oh, I keep forgetting about that stupid. Stupid, stupid, stupid. the blockers around first. Oh well, I would have much rather have the 3-3 three, three left than the 6-4. Whatever. Kind of sucks. That's really funny. Can't acorn harvest. I pretty much had to hit exactly Lotless Troll. Or Lotless Giant, rather. Yeah. Darn. Well, 0 oh 2 against Ponza. That sucks. So I am one in three. <laughs> but if I can get two wins, I get 50 play points, which is half of my entry back. Oh, let's try it. Let's let's try one more round. A fifth and final round. Can we go two and three? Which is not great, not spectacular at all. 
but at least I'll have learned a bit more. Hopefully not against a third Ponza deck, because that would suck. Still waiting for finding an opponent. Ooh, we have found an, an opponent. Let's do it. We won the die roll finally. Yay! Uh, is this worth it? Hmm. Ugh, this is like the most medium hand that ever mediumed but i will keep it i've got to i've got to learn like what game ones work like how they work all right green go yay all right opponent you play a mountain Oh boy, this is mono red. Oof. All right, exhume imp imp. This is better. Ooh, it's Synthesizer. So is it Mono Red Synth? I don't know. Let's get in with our 2-2. Two -two. It is turn three and they only have one land. So that's something in our favor. Play out an imp. Pias. Alright, so that's no longer playable. The Cadolta rebirthed. What's what's the other thing here? The Goblin Bushwhacker, which they did not do. Good to know. Two of our giants in hand, one in the grave. There is something we could do, but we shall see. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. The opponent with a single mountain and four one ones. I mean, you could goblin, you could go land. Um, Gabo, the Bushwhacker. This Bushwhacker will make them all two ones. Um, which is a nice burst of damage, but I don't think that's going to win you the long game here. Okay. We got Mountain. Then again, like, do they have any other choice? That is a good question. I don't know. Because this looks like it's just mono red. It doesn't look like it's Boros. Okay, Seal of Fire. Yeah, I think this is definitely mono red because I don't think the Boros version plays Seal of Fire. Chain Lightning. 
Cool. I got my imp in the graveyard. All according to Kekaku. Get in for four. Sure. No blocks. Let's dredge. Do we have the thingum? We don't have a thingum. Uh, let's just pants. I'm good. I'm gonna sit here. So like we're already past turn five, which is a good sign for us. And we're at 15 life. We're not like super, super low. So this is a good place against Mono Red. Um, eventually, I would like to have uh, Naw to the Bones somewhere, possibly. But uh, assuming they don't have another Bolt or Chain Lightning or whatever on my Imp, like, I think I might just take the draw next turn. See if I can get a land, because then I can Tread Return and start going absolutely crazy. But... If they don't, I mean, I don't know what they do here. <laughs> I don't know what they do here. I don't think they know what they're doing here either. We shall see. <laughs> Synth, you got it. Mountain. Ah, oh, there's the next land drop. Good for you. Mm -hmm. What do I want to do? I think I just get a swamp, play down those, and pass. I don't think there's anything else I want to do right now. Sitting this acorn harvest, just in case they're like, haha, we bolted your one amp, you can't flash back. Bada ba. But I don't care now, because now I have my fourth land, so I'll just dredge it if I hit it cool. If I don't. But I just cast it, and it's fine. Eh, we'll see. They could still turn this around, like, really, really quickly. So, like, a 3-2 with Menace is not nothing. And they can just easily do that, or sack, or, you know, turn this into a 2-2. Get a card, a virtual card, and another thing on board, which is nice. But mm. I don't know. Do they just like discard a do nothing card and hope for the top of their deck? Ah, make sure munitions. Interesting. Try to get in chip damage? No. Okay. Hmm. I want just to exhume. Let's just do that. Yeah, 
you could sack, let's say, Voldair and Epicure to do that. Hmm, Goblin Blast Room is not really anything. But I think that's fine. That might be a bit greedy, but we shall see. We shall see if that is greedy. Just have it. was greedy. Now the bone comes in. Do they play Faith Hate? Do. Let's just trim that. I feel like this is the better, better choice. Let's do that. Hmm. Ooh, baby. That is a whole lot of nothing. <sighs> this is better. I think the Dread Return can go. Eh? Okay. So, like, this is Swamp, Kit, Forest, Wayfinder. Scrapwork Mutt is the can pitch to get stuff. I feel like Scrapwork might, might just be the get out of here card. That, that just might be the get out of here card. Hmm. I'll keep this. No, you know what? I'm going to get rid of the Dread Return. It's not exactly something I need right this second. <laughs> so let's see. Magic is hard. What do you got? 
Mountain, there's your second land drop. Good job, good job. Definitely happy that I kept the scrap scrapwork mutt instead of the dread return here. Let's see if that ends up being useful. Yeah. Sippy break. <sighs> Stay hydrated. I don't know why I zoom back like that every time. <laughs> I'm not like leaning back like at a 90 degree angle. That's so funny. All right, what do we have in here? Imp. Bump, bump, bump. Okay, that's cool. Oof. What do I want? Let's swamp. And we'll just pass. And the festivities. Interesting. Okay. Sure. So we've got Lot with Giants, Cedar Wayfinder, Mutt. Have not hit any of the Nod to the Bones yet. Very interesting. Well, let's just play our Impy. See what happens. Are you going to bolt the Impy? Go for it. Great Furnace. There's your land drop. Okay. I mean, if you attack with it, I'm going to just block. He's fine by me. Okay. <laughs> Good. One, two, three, four. Okay. Sure. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. on board. I mean, you've got enough money to make a samurai. Or not money. Mana. <laughs> money. You, know, you got enough to make a samurai if you want to. You chose not to. That's fine. Oh. 
opponent going deep into the tank. Do we want the doggo to come back? Do we? He's a good doge. Mm hmm. do I want to do? Do I care at all? So like if they top deck Relic, they just pop it immediately. So I don't care. But what I do care is about them getting card advantage right now off of Synth. Let's just do that. I've still got enough mana to gnaw to the bone. Bushwhacker. Good to have removed that. And then I'll just wait. Calf blast me, that's fine. Should I go off the great furnace? Probably not. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Takes me to twenty one. I have one, two, three, four, five, six. That's really interesting. Haven't hit any other Oop, stop 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 stop. Oh, they bolted that in response. Good call, Tony, good call, because I could have immediately done that. Hmm. Let's see what happens. Do we get 
another duder off the top. Like, oh, they're just gonna clear the board. Okay. They've been holding on to one, two, two burn spells. That's fine. Adult rebirth. Do that sacking or blood token. That's for sure. Oh, you did that sacking your land. Very interesting. Cancel. Cool. Very interesting. So what do I have here? Giants are in the grave. One, two, just two, right? Get out of here. Yeah. Okay. sucks. Darn. This is just a samurai, right? Okay. I, mean, I think you throw a gobbo in front of this, right? Or do you just take it? So even Goblin Bushwhacker does not, like, kill me here. Still sucks. Like, don't get me wrong. Because I don't have the thing to do it, and they could just... Okay, it's fine. Do they just have, like, Galf Blast, Galf Blast in hand? Because I'm just worried about them playing, like, a Relic. Sky a bit bigger. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. There ain't nothing. There's the relic. Oh no. 
I tapped wrong. Oh dear me. Popped relic now. Do I pull the trigger? I feel like I pulled the trigger. Oh well. That was it. We went one and four. Got rather quiet at the end there. I apologize, but I didn't think there was really anything else I could do. I don't know. Maybe there was a winning strat there, and I just punted really hard. But oh well. We played magic, we had fun, and we learned a lot. So I'm going to take some notes after this and see if maybe next Monday we'll try this deck again and we'll play a different deck. Either way, I'm hoping that you guys had a lot of fun. I know I did. This was just nice and chill. 
nice and uh, a nice brain warm up for the start of the week. Because <laughs> uh, my Slingwoo brain is just melty and mushy and is bleh, but um, this was fun. This was nice. So looking forward to doing this each Monday uh, when, as, and if I can. <laughs> so thank you for sticking around. This has been your local cat slime. Mm, see you on cross. And uh, I hope everyone has a wonderful rest of the day. And I will see you all next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>